So now we have the widgets configured. We're going to dive into some the analysis of the code. Now there's a couple of different ways you can slice and dice the code. Um, we can look at the number just purely the fact that we've got files, or we can look at the, look at it by the number of lines of code where the statements exist. We could look at the breakdown of the number of nodes, or we could look at it by violation. So we'll start off by looking at at uh, lines of ESQL. So we can see here we've got an account for the size of each ESQL file. So we'll be interested in the, in the topmost one, 188 lines, so that seems like the most complex, so we'll dig into that for the, for the demonstrations. So jumping into that, we can see that we've got our ESQL code available, and we've got some basic syntax highlighting keywords. We've got our comments highlighted. Um, we've got our constants highlighted. Much as you would see in, in, in um, Perseno if you're looking at Java code. 